This is a mask that I made that gives me real life spidey senses. I used it to dodge balls, catch things, and even dodge some punches. If you're curious on how I built it, don't worry, I'm gonna walk you through it. Everybody loves Spider-Man, but not everybody understands how spidey senses really work. So before we get started, I'm gonna break it down for you. Spider-Man spider sense is an alert system. It senses danger and then alerts him with a little tingling sensation so he knows that it's coming. But for spider sense to be useful for me, it needs to do three things. It needs to not only detect objects, also know the direction of the incoming objects and also how far they are away from me so I know how much time I have to react to things. Thankfully, I already have a couple ideas to do this. We can either use ultrasonic sensors or LiDAR sensors. But before we get into that, let me explain to you how each one works. So LiDAR is short for light detection and ranging. As the name entails, it detects objects and measures the distance using light. It has one lens that shoots out a laser, and when that laser reflects off on the object, it has a second lens that receives it. But how do we know how far away an object is? It's pretty easy with a little bit of math. If light moves at almost 300 million meters per second, and it takes one microsecond or this many seconds for the sensor to shoot light and receive it, if we just multiply these two numbers, we find out that the light traveled almost 300 meters to hit the object and return back. Now, lastly, we just have to cut this number in half to, to negate the time it took for the light to come back. And now we know that the object is 150 meters away. And if you didn't figure it out already, ultrasonic sensors work in the same fashion. The only difference is that they use sound and of course the speed of sound instead of light. So which one is better, the ultrasonic sensor or the LiDAR sensor? Just like every great engineering question, it depends. I did some testing comparing the two in accuracy, minimum distance, maximum distance, and field of view. And here are the results. The LiDAR sensor is 3% more accurate than the ultrasonic sensor, as well as has a smaller minimum distance that it can pick up objects from. The ultrasonic sensor has a better maximum distance and it really shines when it comes to field of view. So as we talked about before, the LiDAR shoots out a laser. So with that, the field of view is under two degrees, but if you compare that to the ultrasonic sensor, it has a field of view of 15 degrees. And this works a lot better for the application we need it in because I want to have as little blind spots when it comes to the mass as possible. So now that we can detect objects, the next step is alerting myself for when objects are in my field of view. Spidey sense is always described as like a tingling sensation. So it, I thought it would be perfect to use these motors. Now if we map these little vibrating motors to the distance that the ultrasonic sensor is picking up the objects from, we notice that as we get further away, it's less of a tingling sensation. As we get closer, it intensifies. All right, so now the final step is knowing the direction of incoming objects. I made four of these motor and sensor combos. I'm gonna place them all around the mass. So if I, the right sensor picks up any type of object, we know that these motors are gonna vibrate and that's gonna happen all around. Now that we have everything planned out, the last step is putting it all together. So now that we have the mask completely finished, it is time to put it to the test. I have not tried using it at all yet, so we're gonna see how it goes. What's the like putting the mask on? It feels like... Like is it pretty easy to get on like, once you have everything? Like... Once it's on, it's good, but putting it on, getting everything straight is a pain in the ass. Mm -hmm. Hold on, everything's vibrating, everything's vibrating, I'm too close. You're too close to everything. <laughs> everything. Yo, this is how Spider-Man feels! Like it's too much, my spidey senses! My spidey senses is tingling! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so to test the mask, the first step is of course to make sure I'm blindfolded so we just use some electric tape. And the first thing I wanted them to do so I could just warm up to how it felt to be blind and just react to the vibration, just kind of mess around with me, not tell me which direction they're coming from, just so I can get used to it. Now that I really can't see, it's like my other senses have improved. Front. I upped the stakes a little bit and tried catching a ball, but that did not go well at all. I upped the stakes a little bit and tried catching a ball, but that did not go well at all. Yeah, cause it's like the center is right here. So by the time something's folded, it's already gonna be like low. God no! Uh, attach this to the ceiling with this thing, and that way we can use it as a pendulum. Yeah. 
hit him in the head. And hit him in the head. That's what we do. Hit him in the head. Hit him in the head. Who is he? Put that shit out. Stoop low. Ah! Pass you first. Okay. What the fuck? I told you it's gonna go past you first, so you're gonna sense oh, it the first time. In the time. front, in the yeah, front. Yeah, you wanna okay. feel in the front. And after a solid hour of practice, it finally happened. Slight bit too late. Come yeah. on now. Alright, you got that one. Sit. Okay, right, okay. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Damn, you gotta be fast as fuck. Shit! Alright, so today we did a lot of testing, so let's just recap both the good and the bad. So the good is that it works. Each side works if something's approaching me from the front, it vibrates and each side moves the back. The main issue though is just how fast it alerts me. The amount of time between where the sensor senses an object and to where it begins to vibrate to the time where I have to react. So that is slow and at times depending on how many sensors are going off at one time, it gets finicky. So I notice if one sensor is picking up something, it's a lot more reliable. But now three or four of the sensors are all picking up something, it kind of gets finicky and some are vibrating harder than the others and basically a mess. Both of those problems could be solved just because everything is operated off of this microcontroller. So we have one microcontroller reading four ultrasonic sensors and that same microcontroller is also controlling eight vibrating motors. So, that might just be too much information for it to do reliably. And I found a way to solve it, which is basically, okay, if we have one brain controlling everything, maybe just have a separate microcontroller for each sensor, that might work, but that's for another try. But overall, very happy with the video, very happy with the build. It wasn't perfect, but like any engineering problem, you're never gonna get in your first try. So I call this a very successful prototype regardless if you wanna see version two, and anything else that I build, be sure to subscribe.